connected. The all new Senna 30K is here, and with that said, it's time for a new app. The Senna 30K's app is available for both iOS and Android. To connect your 30K to your phone, make sure Bluetooth is turned on on your phone, and hold the phone pairing button on the back of the 30K until it begins flashing red and blue, you'll hear phone pairing, and you can connect the two. Now, open the 30K app on your phone, you will see the current version of firmware and the latest version of firmware available. Under remote control, you can control your 30K just as you would from your headset, but visually through the app. Turn mesh intercom on, and it'll enter public mode. As you can see, the headset has entered public mode and is now flashing green for mesh intercom. You can create a mesh, enable guest mode, join a mesh, even turn your mic on or off, and adjust the volume of your mesh intercom. Everything that you would do from your headset, but easily in your phone. You can also go to the Bluetooth intercom, connect to a specific headset, start or stop group intercom with other paired headsets, or disconnect from all headsets, and you can even share music. Again, just visually showing you your connections with other Bluetooth users, and allowing you to control all of your settings visually from the app. Under the phone menu, you can use voice dialer like Siri or Google, redial a phone number, or use the speed dial to call one of the three presets. This is also the easiest way to input presets so that you can do it visually. Under music, you can play, pause, or skip tracks just as you would on your headset, but here in the app, and under FM radio, you can turn the FM radio on or off, easily and visually scan through radio stations, add up to 10 radio presets. Again, you can adjust the volume of these as well. Going back to the main menu, under the pairing list, see all of the paired devices and headsets, edit the names of the paired headsets, organize the pairing list, delete all pairings, or delete certain pairings from the list. Back in the main menu, under basic settings, you can visually configure all of the settings of your 30K. If you enable audio boost, it'll reduce the bass just slightly, but give you a little extra oomph in the audio. Vox phone, Vox intercom, HD intercom, this is default enabled, and will stay enabled until you pair with multiple other Bluetooth users. Voice prompts so that you can hear what's going on, High quality A2DP, this is pairing with another Bluetooth device. Side tone, if you'd like to hear yourself as you speak as well. Advanced noise control, this is enabled automatically so that you can block out any extra noise. FM station guide, if you'd like to hear what presets. And then this is guest mode, if you enable this, it'll allow guests to listen in to your mesh intercom. Box sensitivity. Smart volume control will adjust the audio based on the external surroundings. So if suddenly you start going 70 miles an hour, your music will increase slightly. Audio overlay management and intercom overlay sensitivity. This is where you can select how much you'd like your music and your intercom to fluctuate. So if you're listening to music and then someone speaks over the intercom, how much would you like it to adjust? And of course, voice commands. If you turn this off, your headset will skip that small loading period as it says preparing headset and just jump straight into hello. However, you will not be able to use voice commands if you disable this. Volume settings. These are important if you notice that perhaps your phone calls or your music are louder than another. Go through and make sure that everything is turned up. And then back in the main menu, you'll see the quick start guide and user's guide that you can easily access on the fly. For more information about the Senna 30K, visit Senna.com or check out the rest of our YouTube channel for more tutorials.